Happy Saturday, everyone. Uh, real quick, this is the Anarchy 704. They call it a seven inch driver. It's really just a, a beefy six and a half. Uh, if you are looking for a beefy six and a half to run, whatever, this one uses XBL uh, from a dire. It's only 66 bucks. Um, that probably is shipped, I don't know. This is DIY Sound Group. I'll put the link to it in the description. Uh, this one tested very well from, uh, who is it? It's not Speaker Builder, but it's the same guys. Voice Coil, Voice Coil Magazine, when they first came out. So I bought some from Kevin when he used to run DIY Cable. And he uh, was friends with Dan and did some of the ice modules and stuff like that for home audio and DIY type of uh, stuff. So, but if you want a great six and a half inch driver, here it is. So. Again, I make zero dollars from this. This is just me trying to be helpful. Uh, I have a client tomorrow that wants to do home theater. Not a big fan of home theater, just because they, they pretty much take advantage of you and not knowing any better. This guy that I'm going to go see is, is basically the same way. He bought a, <laughs> bought a $1,600 receiver that he got on sale for $1,000. And he was hooking up the subwoofer that I modified for him, and it went kaput. I think it went kaput because of just happened to be the vibration and all that stuff, because it should really rock out the way that I overbuilt it. But um, he's wanting to see me tomorrow, and I'm like, just to repair it is like $400. And I'm like, dude, just get $100. I got, I like, I got, a, I got a really good, I think it's a Harmony Garden. Uh, receiver that I picked up from an older couple and uh, I'm like I'll give it to you for a hundred bucks and he's like no 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 I want to get this repaired I'm like ugh, it's just good money after bad so and uh, I even showed him a link to a $50 one that was from the same company which I think was Denon so again they they are just the designer brand then they have somebody else build it so just so you know uh, and when you're buying all that stuff you're not again <laughs> doesn't matter if it's dual zones or whatever what they're what you're paying for is putting it all in one and the problem with that is if anything goes wrong in it 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 makes the whole thing like useless you know like if it's got some fancy remote or whatever I'm not a fan of that at all I'm a big fan of five dollar fucking Bluetooth receiver and then just use your phone or a, or if you want to go fancy use a dedicated tablet to run your home theater um, some uh, tablets and even phones can run like my old V20 from uh, LG actually had a bunch of surround sound features and you know that were all built into it which is DSP built into it two channel so you don't even need like a DTS for decoder or any bullshit like that so again that, that's what I'm a fan of is getting the same quality and bang for your you know a better bang for your buck as somebody else. So I'm not a fan of receivers at all because they're fucking expensive. What I am a fan of is if you have, let's say you have something really exotic like a $50 um, a DSP from Parts Express and then you augment that with a bunch of older receivers that you get for $20, $30, $40 and just use them as amplifier channels. That's, that's what I would do if I was still into that. So I just don't have time to enjoy that kind of stuff and most of the time I fall asleep to some podcast or something like that on nerd shit. So <laughs> that's how I spend my extra time when I'm falling asleep. Um, but uh, yeah, and then and also a dedicated receiver or a, an amplifier that's dedicated for subwoofer, you know, and then that way you can sit there and control the volumes. Dude, that's like fucking 1990 all over again, because that's what we did when we first got started with my friends. Um, we'd have these systems that we'd have like two, three, four receivers under our beds and we'd sit there and tweak on them to get the level matching right and each receiver would run like a pair or two pair depending on impedance and all that stuff. Uh, it'd run a couple of speakers and our rooms were just fucking killer. And you know, we're all like 15, 16 years old and so this is really badass for us. And plus it's something that we can afford. So it's like, we really felt like it was a come up and like we really felt rich. And uh, to this day, even after I went through all my phases of, you know, having money and, and not having money. And uh, again, this is what I still recommend is just having a bunch of cheap receivers. And then again, something very expensive, like your thousand dollar phone. I don't even like buying thousand dollar phones. I like the free phone 
that, I, that has 5G. That's it. <laughs> That's as fancy as I get. You're wasting your money on a lot of this dumb technology. And the, again, DSP has not improved since 19, what, what was it, 1991? When you had that, I, I did a video on this before about DSP and two channel and the AutoSound 2000 guys. So you're not buying anything more fancy. Now, does it look impressive? And does it impress other people? Sure. But really rich people have a dedicated closet that they keep all their shit in. So I've been to some really, you know, fucking Maserati owning type of people. And, uh, you know, when I, when it's a, <laughs> when it's a hundred dollar fix, they kind of get pissed. They're like, all that for that. And I go, yeah, man, it's just a hundred bucks. And he's like, and then like, he'll give me whatever, like whatever he has or sells. He's like, whatever. And then I had one guy introduce me to his daughter. I'm like, I'm married. <laughs> like, come meet my daughter. You're honest. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, but it doesn't have to be like that. And so, you know, some, some people are still trickling in about the Steve Mead thing or Tony DeMore. And you got to understand that it's so easy to take advantage of people in lots of industries. Uh, Apple does this on a, on a trillion dollar scale. Um, uh, Coca-Cola, same thing, you know, like just the real thing is like, well, if the real thing's on sale, then otherwise <laughs> I'm getting Sam's, <laughs> Sam's Cola. Uh, it's, it's all the same bullshit. It's, it's just, it's just garbage in and, uh, you know, all you do is turn it into turds. So, but, uh, yeah, as far as home theater goes, uh, I'm, that's what I'm a fan of. Now, if you do have a fancy receiver and things like that, or if you do want to go with the HDMI and the switching, all that stuff, I recommend you just use your TV. Most TVs have like five to six HDMI inputs. And so you want to use the source input. They even have a PC input, you know, that you can have like a small computer to, to go into it and uh, use that as your switcher. And then whatever audio output that you have from your TV, especially if it's digital, then run that to a, you know, a DTS receiver again, which you can still pick up used for 50 bucks. And then that has all your surround. And as far as speakers go, you got left, you got right, and you got surround. That's it. You don't need that stupid center channel. You don't need a center channel for the rear. You don't need all that shit. And then if you want to augment that stuff, then, you know, get multiple receivers and, you know, make it grow and things like that. So then you could run, you know, whatever, 27 speakers, but that's it. That's all there is. Everything else is just sort of make believe, oh, you have too much money, hand it over grandma, that sort of thing. So don't do that. At least I don't recommend it, but I love you guys all. I'm going to do a bunch of stuff tomorrow on Sunday. Love you. Bye.